ladies, Christine here. So excited to be popping in. I haven't done one of these for a few weeks and it's because I've been uh, crazy busy with uh, Christmas season with the skincare line. And you may notice I look a little bit different. I actually dyed my hair blonde two days ago. So ongoing changes taking place on the home front. I'm so excited to talk with you ladies today because I have three things I wanna touch on. Um, one is thank you so much for your feedback on what graphic I should use for the Soulpreneur podcast. I really appreciate it. And I have to admit, I was surprised by some of the majority vote. So, so it was really helpful for me to get your vote from the eyes of the demographic that the podcast is for. So thank you so much. I cannot wait to share that podcast with ladies just like you and that being said i'm actually opening up a roll call for women who are solopreneurs to apply to be interviewed so this is a uh, a hybrid style podcast where half of the episodes I'm interviewing solopreneurs, all with a different background, a different kind of industry, but the commonality is they're light workers and leaders in in supporting the world in some unique, awesome way. Um, and then the other podcast episodes are actually solo podcasts with me. I have a feeling they're going to transition into becoming 75% interview based because I have so many people already scheduled to interview that I want to share with you ladies. So if that appeals to you, I do have an application process for that. I, I linked it in the description of this video. There's a few questions that um, it prompts you to share about your business and all those things. And so if that feels exciting for you, feel free to apply. I'd love to learn more about you. But in terms of what this video is all about, I want to share with you ladies uh, on the topic of where, who, and what are you giving your power away to and six steps to take it back. And what I mean by this, are there aspects of your life that are under the notion of external locus of control rather than internal locus of control? And what is that? What does that even mean? So an example of this is, well, actually, let's just jump into step one and that will make more sense. So step one is writing down on a piece of paper or typing it onto your laptop that thing you want that might not be fully manifested in your life yet. So that thing you want, is it a relationship? Is it a new career? Is it more clients? Is it a change in your income bracket? More money, a vacation, like yada, 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 whatever it is, write down that thing. And especially with New Year's around the corner, more and more of us are you know, getting clear. What are these things I wanna bring into my life in 2020, the age of Aquarius, right? So you're just gonna write that down. And step two is, the, the, the magic of this exercise. Step two is now writing down all the feelings you think you will have, you will get to experience with obtaining that thing. So for example, you might write down you want to go from 4K to 7K a month, or you might want to go from being single to in a relationship, or whatever it might be. And then write down those feelings you think that you'll have with that. So a great example of this is this illusion of money of, okay, when I make X amount of dollars instead of what I'm currently making, that's when I'll feel, okay, so maybe freedom. Maybe the answer to that would be rich. Maybe it would be stability or security or success power, whatever it might be. And what's interesting about this is, well, now we're going to go into step three. You might have to pause this video if you're watching on replay to really dig into these concepts of, okay, if I think I'm going to feel all these things when I get this, step three is seeing that you are giving your infinite power away to outside factors and external locus of control versus your internal reservoir of infinite possibilities and all that you already are and all that you already have inside of you. So that would be the same thing as saying, I don't have success. I don't have richness in my life. I don't have freedom in my life. It will only be here if I get something out there. And that's not how law of attraction works. We have to feel and experience and believe those things are already inside of us. And that's when our 
at least in this third dimension earth we're on, that's when we get mirrors of those things outside of us. So if we're wanting that love from that outside person so badly in that relationship, but we think it only exists outside of ourselves, that's the very thing blocking attracting that in but when we're feeling it and recognizing we have it inside ourselves already so that brings us to step four you might be saying okay well christine how do i change that step four is writing down i am statements with those feelings in the present tense so if you think you'll feel x y and z when that happens or when you move or when you get a promotion or whatever the case write down the i am statements of right now training your mind your consciousness your subconscious uh creating gradually new belief systems that say i am those things already so for example it could be i am abundant or i am stability i am security i am love i am kindness i am respect i am whatever it might be and at first it might seem silly and like okay this isn't real but the thing is the second you can think it in your mind it is real it is a potentiality and it's just a matter of giving that time and energy and intention until it really registers in your DNA your consciousness your neural synapses it's just of course I feel that way and then when those things show up to further support it it's not even a surprise it's just oh, of course that showed up right I've already been feeling that for quite some time now so that's step four and then step five is trust and let it go so think about this analogy you go to the restaurant you order something from the waiter and you don't keep pestering the waiter being like are you sure you rung it in are you definitely going to come back with my order i'm worried you're not going to bring me my dinner da, 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 da. right you go to a restaurant and you place the order and you trust you trust that the waiter's going to come back with what you ordered and you don't fret and freak out about it in the in term and that's where a lot of women in the maybe the spiritual development community gets sidetracked they put excessive time and energy on that thing to a point that it builds resistance versus attraction so the waiter in this analogy is literally the universal forces of law of attraction vibrational resonance so you can get clear on the way you wish to feel and then drop it right let it go and that is going to further support the vibrational resonance of bringing to you what you actually desire versus pushing it away. And then step six, ladies, is a great one. It's my favorite one. It is make it a priority to enjoy your life and feel good. The higher you vibrate, you probably all know this by now, the higher you vibrate, the more positive things you attract to you because of that higher vibration, right? Raising your consciousness it means the same thing as expanding your consciousness, which is the same thing as raising your vibration. Expanded levels of consciousness, you're able to create solutions that didn't exist where the problem existed in lower levels of consciousness or lower levels of vibration. Uh, Cole's notes about how that all works. Um, so I hope you took some value from that. And then before we wrap up this live, I also want to do a quick reminder january i have it scheduled january 12th we're kicking off the high level mastermind for women already working in their solopreneur businesses it's a really intimate community different backgrounds of businesses but i really feel that right now a lot of women are needing more of that close sisterhood and community not being one woman in a program of 120 but really those uh, close intimate relationships so that all of their specific challenges and desires can be looked at and move forward with adequate time and attention by both myself and the other few members in the community. So I dropped a link with details of that below and there's an application process for that too. Again, it's a really intimate group and what's exciting about that is it's not just business it's not just strategy but it's similar to the podcast it's really about mixing spiritual growth with mindset alongside business alongside what can be shift modified changes new endeavors things to help expand your sphere of influence your income bracket your lifestyle your time whatever your goals are but really alongside ensuring your heart your soul is in vibrational alignment with what it is you desire so coming from that place of alignment versus expectation and 
shoulds <laughs> I shared in a previous video. I'm so done with doing shoulds. So in any case, that's it for today's video. I hope you ladies found some value and I hope you have an awesome week ahead. Talk to you soon. Bye.